After an $8 million facelift, the National Museum of Toys and Miniatures is set to reopen August 1st. And the now Casey's Tara Hall got to spend the day there and brought us all back a piece of our childhoods. The fraction of a pinky nail. That's the size most of the miniatures are inside the National Museum of Toys and Miniatures. And while all 70,000 pieces have been under lock and key during the $8 million renovation, for the first time in over a year and a half, they're going to be open to the public this upcoming weekend. And there's Chewbacca, and R2-D2, and C-3PO. Little did Steve Wearsman know that when the National Museum of Toys and Miniatures commissioned him to design their new gallery, that it'd be a walk down memory lane. A lot of the toys you see in this case are the toys that I had when growing up, including the bar scene from the first Star Wars movie. Unlike other museums that feature billion-year-old fossils or million-dollar works of art, Wiersma says this museum has pieces that spark nostalgic memories in nearly everyone who enters. Looking at this, it just brings back my memories of playing with those toys outside and inside. And my toys didn't end up as nice as these. They were destroyed by the end of the day because we had epic battles. The nostalgia factor is huge, and we've tried to add in a lot of areas where it's even more. Um, so you're going to see a lot of things that you might have actually played with. But there's more to this museum than toys and miniatures. You see, toys often reflect the culture of the moment, which means visiting can often become a lesson in history. So before we had a lot of really great things on display, but you didn't get to learn a lot about them, and there wasn't anything to touch, which is kind of a shame in a museum about toys. Which makes one wonder, what toys on store shelves today will find themselves inside this Kansas City gem in the future? The museum tells me that its permanent collection should rotate every six months to a year. Meanwhile, the temporary exhibits should rotate more frequently. Reporting in Kansas City for the Now KC, I'm Tara Hall. What a fun assignment. Were you doing like what we were doing? Oh, I had that. Oh, yeah, I had that. Well, we've got a bunch of pictures on our website at KSHB.com. As we toggle through them, you can see how tiny some of the pieces are. You can take a walk down memory lane before the National Museum of Toys and Miniatures opens Saturday. You can go to our website and check it out. Otherwise, you can go on Saturday. We've got all kinds of web exclusives. We do have a gallery with some of your favorite childhood toys, I bet, of yesteryear. And while you're online, you can head to 41 Action News' Facebook page and tell us about your favorite toys from childhood. I remember my peaches and cream Barbie doll. I don't know if they have one of those. All right, more to come on the Now KC. Some parents.